Vanessa here. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to knit the decorative raglan for the Cora Poncho. So I've received a few inquiries about how to work the raglan section of the poncho. So I thought I'd make a video. So the decorative stitches are worked three stitches before the stitch marker and three stitches after the stitch marker. So I'm going to knit until three stitches before the marker. Okay, so now we're going to work several stitches in these three stitches. The first thing you want to do is work three stitches together insert your needle through the three stitches and you're going to knit them together and we're not pulling these stitches off just yet. And I pull this out so that it's long like that. Okay, so you just pull it out so that it stretches and then you yarn over. So you wrap your yarn around your needle and you're going to repeat. Insert your needle through the three stitches you want to knit those three together and we're not, we're still keeping these three stitches here on this side. Again, pull so that the loop stretches, yarn over, and then one more time, knit three together. Okay, and pull. Now we can slide these three stitches off. Okay, now you want to slip your stitch marker over and now you want to work with these three stitches. So because we're going to want these stitches to look like they're tilting that way, we're going to first slip the three stitches knit wise one at a time. So the very first one insert as if to knit, pull off, next one, and finally the third stitch. Now we're going to transfer them back. So what this does is it twists your loop on these three stitches here. Now we're going to work the three stitches together just like we did here, but we're going to work it through the back loops. So I'm going to insert my needle through all three stitches through the back loop. So on this side, we just went through the front loop. Okay, so knit those three together, pull, and we're going to leave this on the needle like we did this side, yarn over, knit three together through back loop, yarn over, and then knit three together through back loop. Okay, so I'm going to continue knitting across. So the poncho is worked in the round. So you're going to knit three rounds just with stockinette. If you're working this in flat rows, you'll just purl on the wrong side. It's because this is a sample and this is not in the round, I'm going to go ahead and purl the wrong side. So when you get to the decorative raglan section, you're just going to work stocking it over those additional stitches as well. Because this is a raglan increase, we've added two stitches on either side of the stitch marker. So in the poncho, you're just working in the round. And when you knit the next round, you're just going to knit across those decorative stitches. Again, I am working a sample. So I'm purling on the wrong side. So in the poncho pattern, there are three rounds in between each of the increases. So the decorative stitches here. So I've worked three rows after this decorative raglan increase. I'm ready for the next raglan increase. So I'm going to knit until the three stitches before the marker.
Okay, so there's those three stitches. I'm going to go over this one more time. You want to knit three together, pull, yarn over, knit three together. Again, we're not pulling the loops off yet here, the stitches, yarn over, and then knit three together. Now we can slide it off, move your marker, slip the next three stitches knitwise, transfer it back, knit three together through back loop, pull, yarn over, knit three together through back loop, yarn over, and knit three together through back loop. Okay, now we can slide it off and continue knitting until the end. For the pattern, you just knit until the three stitches before the next marker. Okay, so that's how you work the raglan increases for the core poncho. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification button, and I will see you next time.